Today, the nation and the world reacting to a clear Trump win. This was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. And the uncertainty it brings for policy shifts at home and abroad. The 45th, soon to be 47th president pivoting from often fiery rhetoric on the campaign trail, promising to help the country heal. It's time to put the divisions of the past four years behind us. It's time to unite. Starkly different reactions from close to half of American voters who supported Vice President Kamala Harris. This is real. Like, this is the country that we live in, and it has not really progressed. The Vice President called President-elect Trump today to concede and congratulate him. When we fight, we win. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes the fight takes a while. She waged an historically brief campaign, launched to the top of the Democratic ticket after President Biden dropped out in late July. And she failed to capture enough support among white voters, men, and first-time voters who moved to Mr. Trump. Based on my worldview, he is someone who stands for the things that I stand for. Very optimistic. I think that the country is in need of uh, repair. President-elect Trump gained significant support among black and Latino voters in critical swing states, clearly undeterred by the Trump campaign's dark framing of the immigration debate. And the economy remained a key motivator across battleground states. The president-elect won back. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful, and free again. Again, preparing to lead a divided nation. The Harris campaign says the vice president also spoke with President-elect Trump about having a peaceful transfer of power and being a president for all Americans. And he moves forward with the Senate having shifted to Republican control. He called that a clear mandate for change. Reporting from near Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, Alice Barr, NBC News.